All right, guys, in this video, we're going to get the car back. We're going to show you the full completed wrap. We're going to let you know why it's not driving. Big brakes. And we're also going to get the exhaust on this thing and start it. So before we get into any of that stuff, just make sure you like the video because it really helps us out. How big are the brakes? Way too big for this car. But like how, how too big? Like the size of the wheels that came on this car are now going to be the size of the brakes. Interesting. They're just going to have to stick around to find out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, boys, right in front of me is the finished product. Um, CJ did a great job. Once again, Ghost Rap. Hit this man up. He knows what he's doing. Yep. Yep. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Welcome to the finished car. It's a show car now. It is, yeah, it's, uh, it's, well, you know, I wouldn't call it a show car because of, you know, stuff that we did, not that you did, of course, but. Show um, car. Yes. Uh, CJ was telling us how there was welding debris on the roof when we brought it to him. Sorry about that. It's all good. <laughs> Sandpaper can't yeah, we're not the uh, we're not the cleanest, most detailed oriented bunch, but um, yeah, if you if you need a wrap done, uh, we're really stoked on the results. Uh, the color is incredible. Um, the purple was fun, but it's time to grow up. We put a lot of work in the car, and you know, it speaks for itself. This thing looks incredible. All right, we are all loaded up. We're ready back to go back to the shop. <laughs> what is this? It's not slim, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah! Not the savage stick. So Devin is a uh, is a slim jim kind of sewer, if you will. And um, gang gang. And yeah, member of the uh, what the are they called? That is slim oh, long meat club. No, what's the what are they called? Long boys. Long boys. Long boys yeah. All right, so Devin's gonna give us a classic uh, slim jim review. We do this on a scale one to nine. He gets one bite. <laughs> That's an eight. You know, I honestly I don't like the thick slim gems, but for some reason I don't mind this one. Now, let me let me it's hit that. So much. <laughs> Surprisingly good, right? Dude. I didn't think I was gonna enjoy that big of a meat. Let's all stick. let's all share the same meat, bro. Rona. It's fucking bomb, dude. That's a slim gem. I'm not super into Slim Jim, but that's not bad. <laughs> All right, boys, we're back at the shop. It's a new day, and it's time to do final assembly, continue final assembly. Um, now that it looks this hot, <laughs> we have to get it actually driving. And there's a lot that goes into that, but we first are going to put on the rest of Sam's beautifully fabricated exhaust, which has been living over here for a little while. So actually... I'm not gonna explain nothing else, let's just do that. So one of the best things that, you know, it's on air, it's too low for the lift arms, but I can just put it in monster truck mode. Monster truck mode. <laughs> now. <laughs> Croc test, dude? Oh, the croc test. Passes the croc test with flying coves. So if you guys didn't see the exhaust video, this thing's actually would have cost me so much money if it wasn't Sam fabricating it. It's got a full, what is this, three and a half inch? Yeah. We managed to get that next to a 350Z trans, and then it transitions to three and a half inch oval to keep doing that. And then back here, it attaches to like where the old suspension used to bolt to in this hanger. What's your favorite part? The under axle ovals that I made eccentric reducers so they're not center off center line to center line. They try I tried to keep the this tangent on the bottom. Yeah. I mean they'll see that in a second. We're gonna slap it on, but yeah, this is this is all great work. Probably your best exhaust fab. Oh, by far. So we're taking the exhaust off after we just put it on because we can't fill the transmission with the exhaust on. So that's cool. So I would recommend once again, the power fill. You just pressurize it and then you do. don't have to hate your life. I mean, I still hate my can't life. Can't visually tell anything's happening, but. Well, the bottle's, the bottle's getting less. <laughs> the bottle's yeah, getting less. You have to cross that little line on the bottom. And there's nothing on the floor. So realistically, this is filling. 
and we're not having to sit here and like hand pump or squeeze a squeeze a bottle uh, or do one of those bullshits where you cut a <laughs> hole in the bottom of a GL5 bottle and hit it with an air hose and turn it into a bomb. <laughs> so we kind of got lucky a little bit because uh, we never actually tested to see if the exhaust was gonna fit with the new diff setup we did a while ago. And the only place it hit was this little nub, so it's just been cut off, we're just gonna grind it flat. That's how that be. Grind it flat, just gonna grind all the sharp bits off it. My question to you guys is, did we keep the BOSU pipe? Sam, what do you think? I left it long so we could trim it back, but I kind of dig it. <laughs> it's very proud. I think it fits with the stupid wheels and the big ass body. Can Let's see how you look. get a fiberglass rear bumper on this thing, and this will be poking out Actually, exactly yeah. the right amount. And now, especially because you got a front bumper, it's yeah. a good opportunity. It kind of complete the look, really. Because yeah, a fiberglass bumper will stick out to like there. Oh, true. Wow, look at the underside of this thing. It doesn't look like shit. That's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. All right, so. Devin has arrived, and what we're gonna do now is we were having some trouble starting it because the glow plugs weren't behaving, and you know, everything's freshly wired on actual switches and stuff like that. We were thinking that the battery current was too low, so we've charged it. The glow plugs pull a lot of amperage, and with a bunch of other relays hooked up and stuff, we were just thinking that it just literally wasn't enough to trip the relay. <laughs> 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 Pressure's loud, guy. It's a lot less vibrating than it used to be, though. Okay, so we never explained any wiring stuff. What are you doing right now? Uh, so this is our glow plug switch. Um, in order to have the glow plugs work, we have a timer relay that's set for anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds. That will, when we trigger that, it'll trigger the actual glow plug relay and only have them on for that long. Um, so we're just gonna diagnose now and just make sure that they actually do work and there isn't a wiring issue and it was just low battery. Well, I don't know how this switch works then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna skip the switch. What one was that? Hmm? What switch was that? That was the glow plug switch. Did you try, like... try hitting that kill side of it? I think she may be wired backwards. It's not on that, is it? Well, it's the same switch. Oh, it is. So maybe. click it the other way and maybe wire it backwards. I don't know why the wires would be backwards. Oh, it is. Yeah, so just swap the, so what happens with, you gotta figure the way those rocker switches work is they're moving a little, uh, basically they're connecting the pin. So when you click the down, it connects the common to those pins. So to when you click it up, ones. it connects okay. common cool. to those pins because of the way it actually moves to connect the yeah, pins. Yeah, I get that. It kind of makes sense if you think about where the pivot point is. Yeah, so. it's swinging. So that was it? Yeah. So okay, that average. tripped. Um, give me a multimeter. Oh, I have a multimeter. So we're still having a glow issue. So Sam's in there looking at the relay. <sighs> you guys want to see? Oh, look at all that shit. You can imagine how lame it is. When something doesn't work. When something doesn't work and it's all already all tidy. Uh, did you guys know that Sam could fit all the way under this dashboard? <laughs> Yeah, he's, uh, he's a yoga master. Hey, buddy. So you've got this black. Okay, yeah, I see what that is. Is this a gang ground right here on this fuse block? Gang ground? Install like it. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. I only caught half of that. You ran out of fuses. <laughs> <laughs> I and ran so... out of fuses, and there was one spot that didn't have a fuse in it, and that's where I hooked <laughs> up the glow plug relay. So it only Damn doesn't it. work because there's no, there's no fuse. fuse in it. Very nice. That was a good hour of diagnosing for- Well, take out like one of the other ones. And... Damn it. I don't know what any of these <laughs> That's do. That's fucking hilarious. You don't know what any of them do? Take out the blinker one or whatever. I mean, does anything else do anything important? Fuel pump? I mean, realistically, the only thing that really needs to- that, that could be a five amp fuse, all it's doing is triggering the big relay. <laughs> yes, I do. So they were the right one. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, this is why we don't film wiring videos. Because we're all stupid. I didn't hear anything. 
Oh, oh that did it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I heard the fucking... They're definitely uh, on right now. <laughs> yeah, and the fuel pump slowed down. Yeah, that's a good sign. I should be able to hit it right now. Yeah. So there's one more thing. Um, you may be wondering why it's not driving if it's like all complete and it's uh, running. Well, that's because it doesn't stop. But I have a perfect example, on JP. Don't worry about that. There's a reason for that. <laughs> all right, Sam, you reveal these because you know more about them than I do. Um, this is trickle down economics at work here. It's like uh, three levels of trickle down bronomics because this <laughs> is a kit that James bought for a Challenger he doesn't have anymore that I was going to put on the Mustang. And then I said that I'll just get you the brakes when the time yeah. comes. I can use these it because was... they're freaking huge. Yeah. Oh, maybe look at these mother Brake kit for, I think he bought it for his RT. So these, he... are, these are like 16 inch rotors. So this is bigger brakes than the Datsun had stock wheels. This will be a six piston front, four piston rear with a, I think a 14 inch rotor <laughs> in the front. Ridiculous. It's so, so. Much better than the garbage 70s Datsun stuff and this garbage is, 90s Nissan stuff. This is like a 3000 odd brake kit. Probably, yeah, probably something about that. It's Willwood, so it's not top, top quality, but it's still not a cheap Well, they kit. make a six piston like this for the 350Z and it's like $4,000. Yeah, with how light this car is. It's just gonna go We have to reinforce the windshield for when your face hits it. <laughs> um, yeah, so a couple things here. What do you guys think about the wheels now, now that it's this color? Um, and so these are the questions for the video that I want you guys to leave in the comments. What about the exhaust? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to leave it like this. It's kind of cool. I think it's kind of weird. Um, we, we were saying too, Devin. We were saying at, at this point, since this kit has the front bumper, we should probably just get a fiberglass rear bumper, which will stick out to about there and make it much less ridiculous and guys tell me that this thing doesn't look the absolute business now it is i've never been sexually attracted to a car before well, you hide your boner. like well it's that's not you it's not visible in the frame so you we're good you do? i don't know probably you can oh, say whatever you flag for the word boner boner let's find out boner <laughs> All right, so that's all we got until we can build that brake kit because, I mean, it needs to stop before we drive it. And that brake kit's gonna be not easy because it belongs on a Challenger, not on a 240Z. So we're gonna conclude this one by giving away products from BoostedShades.com. We do that every single video. Um, Devin's gonna go ahead and pick the winner. All right, this video's winner is Break It Off J. All right, hit us up at Team Boosted at BoostedShades.com or through any of our social media platforms. We'll get back to you and ship you something for BoostedShades.com. If you guys don't win, that is the best way to support us. So we'd be super pumped if you check that out. If you want to win, all you got to do is like, sub, and leave a comment. We asked you earlier um, about what do you think about positive offset wheels uh, now that the color matched, and should we leave the exhaust the way that it looks now? Wait, I mean, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's rad. It's, it's cool. So contrary to popular belief, if the car is pre smog like this one, you can still get California bar ref. So they like make, they inspect all the emissions equipment, which on this car is not there. So I'd prefer to not draw attention to us, but I think it looks cool. I'm that's saying sweet. Right, right, right. I, I think that's the least likely thing that's going to get you pulled over. Yeah. The plumes of black smoke from it being a diesel would probably be the first. Yeah. Um, or yeah, that's all we got this one, right? Yeah. As always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.